It's a good way to break a leg there, son. Just out here on the fence line. We call that the top rail pickle. Do we chance it? No, probably not. Nice little uh, leaning post here. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna lay a little bit of two inch pipeline. Come on. I'm kidding. Not pipeline, but two inch top row. Two and seven eighths to be exact. I'm on my own today. Dakota's not gonna be here, but that's all right. But I will tell you, next time I'm using a tractor to move this pipe because this was miserable. Tractor, truck, something. Something, dolly. I mean, I got all kinds of ideas that's running through my mind after dragging four, three or four joints of this two and seven eighths all over this guy's yard. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Austin Ross. Here on this channel, I share the projects that I do or any kind of welding, mobile rig welding tips and tricks that I've learned through my 15 years of welding experience. And like I said, anything that I learn on the daily, I try to share it here on this YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. And for those of you that are here every week, thank you for being here every week. We greatly appreciate you stopping by every week and watching the videos. Also, for those of you that are new to the channel, check out arosswelding.school for the online courses that we do offer, one of them being the pipe fence course. It may not be open for enrollment depending on when you're watching this video, but you can get on a waiting list by leaving your email and we will shoot you an email whenever we do open the pipe fence course back up for enrollment. So yeah, today we're gonna lay some top rail. I'm gonna show you what I do in the corners where both top rails meet. And you're also gonna learn what the top rail pickle is. That's just a term I dubbed. I've never heard it called top rail pickle in my life. I just called it that whenever I was in that situation and I thought of it and it sounded like a good name because this literally happens quite often whenever you're laying top rail by yourself. If you had another person, you wouldn't get in a pickle. All right, so we've got this side all fit up. I'm not gonna tack anything until I get uh, everything laid out, like all my top rail laid out on that long run back yonder. Uh, I say that and I may need this clamp or something so I may end up coming back here and tacking this side off. That way I can have my clamp to fit these up but I'm fixing to drag a few joints over here, set them up in stands, saddle one end to go right here and then cut off the collar on the other end. Uh, actually probably potentially pull a measurement that way I don't have to cut it on a ladder like I did this one. 10, 20, 30. Actually, I may not. It might be close enough. Depending on how long that joint is, it may be close enough because this right here is 30 foot from the corner and the joints are roughly 30 to 32 feet. So to kind of do the same thing, make our joint land right here close to this post to keep it from uh, drawing as bad. Whenever I say drawing, whenever I make a weld on one of these, on these top rails, Sometimes if you look down the fence, you can see a, you know, little ways and stuff in it. And it's not a big deal because you usually can't see it from this angle. And uh, when with post and top rail, with two and seven eighths and two and three eighths, you're gonna get some waves anyway, whenever you weld these. So almost all top rail that I've seen, that I've looked at, if you look at it from this angle, it's got little like, uh, dips in it from where it warps right here but luckily you can only see it from this angle you can't see it from out here so it all works out anyway i just always like to shoot for perfection that way if there is a flaw it's a less of a flaw if that makes sense <laughs> So all I did here in the corner on my top rails is I just trimmed off the slightest bit of ear right here. That's what we call the longest part of our saddle here is the ear. I just trimmed off the slightest bit. That way the other top rail could slide right up underneath it.
just like laying a little two inch pipeline. Come on, running beads, cutting lap joints, hop passing and capping. One man band, baby. Just out here on the fence line. Snap, crackle, pop. Don't let it startle you. Just the old oxygen and acetylene. Doing work. <laughs> Lift with the knees, not with the back. <clears throat> it no probably not probably not do not chance it it's a way to break a leg it's a good way to break a leg there son all righty three joints down one more to go boys <laughs> Alrighty, on to the next one. On to the next one. Just cutting and fitting. Fitting and a spitting. Just cutting and a fitting. Fitting and a spitting. Welding on the fence line. Enjoying every bit of it. Or at least now that all the pipes moved. Moving that pipe was was hard on the old 32 year old Aros. <laughs> Come on. Hello. That's getting more and more satisfying as we go here. I absolutely love it. That was not supposed to happen. Call that the top rail pickle. All right, now that we've got almost all these sections laid up here, I'm gonna go ahead and ground to right here before I trim anything off right here and fit this last piece. I got a short piece to fit right up here, but I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this top rail together, tack the whole top rail together Make sure everything looks good. Probably put three or four tacks at each section, at each joint where the joints meet. Like right here, I'll come through here and tack top, bottom, sides on all these sections. And as long as everything looks good, 
I'll go through here. I've actually already checked them. Made sure all these are still plumb. As long as all my posts are still plumb and everything's setting good like so, I'll go ahead and tack the top rail to every post. And then I'll come down here and finish fitting this. Pretty uh, satisfying. I absolutely love it. Now it's time to weld it out. So on previous projects where we were putting in several rails versus the top rail that we're doing on this project, I've mentioned that I usually do two passes. My go-to welding rod for welding on pipe fence is 532-8010. And if I'm putting in several rails or if I'm putting my rails in between, especially on bigger pipe, a lot of times I will put two passes. I'll put what I call a sealer pass and then I'll brush off all those welds and then I'll go back and put a cap. The reason I do that is just in case any of our fit ups have a gap here and there, depending on the size of pipe, it can be difficult to make it look good, filling a gap and trying to make a, a weld look pretty. So to make everything look consistent, I just go ahead and put a quick pass and everything. And then I put a cap that way everything looks nice and consistent. With top rail, I normally try to get away with just one pass if possible, mostly due to the warping that I was talking about or the drawing that I talked about earlier in this video. That's why I try not to put any more weld on it than we have to. Boy, this tree sure is a nuisance. But then again, looky there. Looky there, boys. Boys and girls. Makes a nice little, nice little uh, leaning post here. You know, comfort is key on welding. Best weld I ever made right there because I was comfortable. See, I'm gonna do the next one. Got all these welded out, or most all these except for a couple there at the end. I just got one, two, three, oh, about four more to weld out, and then I'll roll up my leads back up where I was at the other day and I string my leads on the other side of these trees to reach that section there. Yeah, buddy. connecting our top rail sections. Just makes me feel a little more clean, you know? Like everything's continuous 
something just nice or you know that's going to wrap it up for this video stay tuned to the channel for the rest of this project we're going to continue in next week's video on this project making any kind of progress that we can thank you for being here till the end of the video it really helps the youtube algorithm whenever you watch the whole video so if you're still here we greatly appreciate it thanks for stopping by if you're a regular viewer thank you if you're a new viewer Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome weekend. Don't forget to check out arosswelding.school for the online courses that we have. Also check out arosswelding.com for the online store where you can find soapstone and a few other things that we carry in the Aross Welding store. Have a great weekend and remember, learn something every day.